This is where you want to claim the ladder. Slightly higher. And now Berry gets a look 45. at the biggest of the lot. As we hear this Munich crowd in full voice. So it could be a 2-0 lead and then a 3-2 deficit. Bad first start means that he might look at double-double. He'll have to survive a doable number here from Berry to try and take that lead. They're almost identical average-wise to this point. But it's shots like this and shots like 96, which he missed in a previous leg. These are the important moments. Double 18. Yeah, and he retakes the lead. Very we could be in for a topsy-turvy one here, Murph. I might fancy the European champion in that one. <laughs> 100. There we go. He's on for a big six-star convo, which is 344 and six. Yeah, started off with his first 180 of Six. the weekend. Very good, 160. I went full Aussie there. I went convo for conversion. Oh, nowhere near it. But we could have one of those matches where somebody gets two legs and then the other gets two legs and then the other one gets two legs again. Oh, At no point Very has Josh one, led this match. It feels like he's been chasing the whole time. Another one of those. Leaves the double. Yeah, no hesitancy Barry whatsoever from Berry. So much was made of Josh Rock at the end of last year that he went into the World Championship as one of the favourites. He had a decent World Championship and I think oh, he could categorise 2023 said. as his second album. In the early stage of 2023, you'd have to say 58. it started okay, but we're maybe waiting for that real banger on that album to really catch the imagination. 100. Joshua, 141. Oh, big moment. Big chance. Good. Big finish from Josh Rock and a big reaction as well until the very final day. 140. And last year, Perry lost out to Michael Smith at this stage by six legs to four. He's already improved on his 2022 effort because he's got five legs here on the second day. If he was to make it through, it would be his best run in a European Tour event ever. Nice, and this 156 is for his very first last 16 in what Dan Dawson calls the greatest tour in professional sport. Not going to take it out, but Josh Rock simply has to clean up for 25. 25. Yeah, it has such a big say in things, this number. You've got to be good at 25 conversions if you're going to be a top player. And that 13. miss, that big miss. Now gives Berry three clean darts at double 16. eight for one of the biggest wins of his career. As he waited the longest as a tour card holder to get onto the European tour. When he finally got here, he won pretty quickly. Get and Berry Van Peer shocks Van Josh Rock and progresses. I think if he'd offered Horvat 3 2 up, he would have been very happy. But I don't think either player would have expected to be under an 85 average at this point in the match. No, well, you expect not. Dave Dragutin Chisnell to get back to his normal performance levels as the game goes on. The problem is, Dragutin Horvat could be well clear. Oh, again. Just a little tiny distance away. And forcing another opening. 96. David Rubar won 106. So many options on 106. And he was in two minds. Oh. He was in two minds. He looked south first 
and then he went to the 60. Seventeen. You do wonder whether clarity of thought plays a role in how effective you are in executing your plans. Double 16. Knew what he wanted, took it out, 4-2 Horvat. The German is two up and two away. And Dave Chesnall continues to sort of trundle along at this really, I mean, for his own standards, a poor level. But that gives Horvat a little sniff. Again, you're not massively confident anybody's taken a ton-plus checkout out in this game. But darts is a silly game, and these things happen. 96, Dragutin, you're 115. He is a somewhat enigmatic player sometimes, Horvat. You don't know what you're going to get from him. It could be bizarre or brilliant. And that was very close again to being brilliant. That double 14 he missed earlier was key. That tops miss could be even bigger. Two 36s. Double nine to the rescue, and it's 4-4. Four, four. By far the best leg of the match, scoring-wise. He can set it up, didn't have to go 14 and ball with Dragutin back in the 200s. He wasn't going for a 16 there. His reaction to that single 16 was a negative one. He was going for a single eight. 97. David require 32. Double 16, then. The lead in this game for the first time. And the double so trouble Indians. returns for Dave Chisnell. And I think that effort there is based on the fact that he didn't want to leave 32. For the lead again, he needs double 16 himself. Seven and another four. fine miss from Horvat. Three legs now four. that he's missed on Tum Plus combos, and he's wired the double every time. He lost the other two. Is he going to lose this one as well? Dragutin Horvat could have won this game by now. Yeah, and Dave like Chisnell that. is one Dave away from Chisnell. victory. And Chizzy, I mean, he's not been great himself, let's be honest. He's not been very good at all. And so he will want to win it here because the stress of a last leg decider would leave him vulnerable. But a second 180, both are coming the last couple of legs. And Dave Chisnell should get match darts from here. In fact, he's probably going to get loads, which is a good job because he's needing loads of darts at double to it. Well, Horvat was in a decent position after the first dart of that visit, but then two single ones have scuppered any effort he was going to have at trying to take it to an 11th and deciding leg. Chisnell ambles towards the winning line and now has only one job left, which is a double that he does prefer, and he has left it this time. And there it is, he does finally pin a double the first time of asking. It is the only time it happened in the entire match. So when he actually invested money to deal with it, allowed him to practice more, he played better. He won things, paid for itself. More than paid for itself. And even more worryingly for everybody else, now, in the last few weeks, it's the first time that he's been playing without any pain whatsoever. Imagine what he could do. What can Ridge do with this? Double 16 would Seven. see him win the leg. He'll come back with three at the same target. Went right off the riot in this game after that. Ooh, <laughs> dead cat 180 for Dirk Van Dijvenboda. Some noise in the hall. Does it distract the riot? And a Cheshire cat grin on his face as well. Oh, OK. And look at him, he's still smiling. Look at him. The plan worked. The evil genius. <laughs> he's left double one. What are you doing? <laughs> that is two astonishing visits from Dirk Van Dijven Boda. Oh, beautiful. George Noble could have started calling that after the first start, really, couldn't he? Well, he's hitting three legs running now, Dirk Van Dijven Boda. And that's a first one for Callan Ritz. I don't think that could have been called similarly early. Very similar angle of entry for the player, so a dart right in the top of the treble will be perfect to follow. Oh, proper. Double four. 
Ooh, you lucky boy, Callum Rids. Oh, well, <laughs> no score. I mean, you had some luck, <laughs> and then you decided to just throw it all away. The lucky 13 for Callan Rids, and Dirk is looking to pounce. Yes! <laughs> yes, Dirk! Can't locate the treble, so still very much advantage DVD in this leg. 105. Callan's turn to apply a bit of pressure, but whereas Rids has folded a couple of times when Dirk has hit those scores to chase him. Is Van Dijvenboda Boda going to do the same? Double 10. He Hold does. Callan Nurekwa, 104. He's been in this kind of position a couple of times, a couple of legs behind, needing a break and getting it. Just a re-grip, but he does it again. The next bit is following it up. It looks like Dirk van Dijvenboda is power to, powering towards the finishing line. And they're meeting with either Danny Nopper or Liam Mandel Lawrence. 43. And that just throws things into doubt a little. A 180 from Rids would leave 170. Not going to happen. Yeah, and you just you do see this from Callan Rids at times. He'll, he'll quicken up even more when he thinks the race is run. And I just thought there was less care with the last couple of darts in that visit than any other darts thrown in this match from Rid, which suggests he thinks the game is up. It's got to be demoralising when you're playing a player who just keeps on 100. hammering in maximum Very visits, easy seemingly six. every leg. Two visits from here for a 6-3 win. Maybe just two darts. He's going to try and use that. Oh, my Dirk. word, he's used a marker and that's not even on the wire of the double 16. Dirk van Dijvenboda, complete mastery of his arrows, and masters Callan Rids. There's a lot going on. That elbow is hyperextended, the shoulder is involved. But if he gets the timing right, there's not many better players on the planet. Well, that's twice he's hit the ball at the start of a 1-2-1 one, one shot, but failed to find the treble. Easy one. 13. Good first start from Keane. Needs the 140, gets it. However, Robert, require it should be too late. Well, he's had tops once, he's hit tops once. A miss, but that could be, I was going to say it could be a help. But he no hasn't score. managed to use it as he such. Well, he's trying to use the die, he's trying to hit the flight and the stem just to nestle it underneath. But he missed it twice. Double 16. That is unbelievable. Larceny by Dynamite. He should be dressed in black and white, never mind red and black. In the small 20, beautifully executed by Keane, who desperately wants to get a first win against Cross today to book his space in day three here in Munich. Still thinking he's in a decent position, even in this leg, isn't he? Rob Cross may have to take out the 1 2 7 to stay in the game. Robbie Rekhoa, 127. So you're taking it at the next level, not 127 in game, but 127 to stay in the game. Yeah, 127 in game. He's in the game. He completes the checkout. I'm not going to lie. 100. Well, if anybody can handle... Mendel Lawrence, it's going to be not it because he is the epitome of a patient dark player. Yeah, and then I think even if he manages to beat Noppert, Dirk can play at any pace himself because he, he can 96. be stop start, has been in the past. <laughs> I can imagine Dirk playing him, you know, and slowing him down. <laughs> Just to say, well, this is how it feels. Well, Keane is playing a, a tremendous Rob game here, and Rob is just having to hang on. 127 on the ball. He'd love a 1 1 4 and another eruption of emotion. Is there an argument to say there? No, he's going treble 18. There was an argument for it. 14. But when you like treble 18 as much as he does, 14. you use the treble 18. Doesn't like it now. Doesn't yeah, like that either. Team Barry on the brink. Almost 100 in his overall average. He's got 40% on doubles and he's losing 5 2. Welcome to the top level. It doesn't feel like that, though, does it? 
Barry seems to have been in front in most legs, apart from the one where he took out the 107 after Cross had missed opportunities. And Cross has come out charging in this one. That's conceivable that if Rob had not hit that 127, he would have been out 90. already. It looks likely to at least extend the encounter, but Barry will have the darts 58. in the next leg. Robbie require 91. This is where you've got the luxury of doing whatever you want on approach. Lovely take on the 42, the double 16. And that is a 12 data. Little message sent to Keane there as if to say it. There's been so much made of young players coming through over the last few years. You talk about Luke Littler, who made his debut at the UK Open recently and had a great run. Thomas Banks, 16 years of age. Leighton Bennett. Josh Rock. Keane Barry is very much at the forefront of young players in the world. And he might be about to win it in style. Well, he does flinch at the finish, but he's going to get three more. To condemn Cross. 100. To defeat. This may well be one of the wins of his career. But not yet. That's surprising. Just goes to show in this sport of darts that there are no such things as gimmies. Well, the 1 2 7 kept him clinging on earlier on. Now he's after the 1 2 4. He's not going to get it. 88. King, you require. Is that cross 20. done? Hits the ball again for good measure. Game. But Barry Shot. beats and Cross. The victory Barry. over voltage. Only one meeting on a big stage, and that was the most recent of all of their meetings. Yeah, and that was in Belgium on the European Tour, our no, first I trip to Visa. We'd been to Belgium before on the Euro Tour, uh, well, been to Belgium before on the Euro Tour, and indeed elsewhere, played European Championships there for a few years. But he's found another Whoa. level in Belgium over the last Andrew two or three years. Seven. Yeah, looking forward to that tournament in just under a month. As Dave Chisnell will defend. And 170 is no longer possible, giving Clayton a chance oh, at a big out and possibly a first ferret finger point. Double 17 for the bullseye. Oh, he wanted to do it as well because he thought it was going. 36. I did as well. Gilding. Double and 18 without hesitation and a 2 1 advantage. He's been doing enough, and he's been doing the right things at the right times, as Michael Van Gerwen's mantra says. Gilding has left himself 140 again in this match by hitting his first maximum. May not get a look at it. Double top. So close to two massive outs. And Clayton will feel empty if this goes. Third look at this. Oh, and that looks so good. Oh, that is a frustrating one. 100. Johnny require 40. For a level game. It's not a 13 data. And it's an awkward lie. <laughs> That's how awkward nice it was. Goal. Well, that might be the cosmic balance being restored 40. because he had an incredible finish the other night in the Premier League in Birmingham where he just lobbed it in the general direction and somehow weaseled its way through to the double, but this time it deflects savagely up above the double. A question mark could possibly be planted. Oh, what a time for a max. Well, it does leave him a two-dart checkout, and Clayton may only get one dart at double here. Oh, he might not even get... He might get one at bull. It is one at bull. And it's not that close, and Johnny Clayton was miles ahead in this leg. Let's not forget that Andrew has not missed a double yet. Does he get a shot at one? He doesn't. Johnny can count himself rather lucky to be looking at double 15 here. Straight at it. Double six. 
Easy. Well, Johnny Clayton's thrown this leg away, and, and point with point it, I think the match is going because this is another potential breaker throw. Gilding hasn't missed a dart at double, yeah. and he keeps on hitting. This is astonishing from Andrew Gilding. Well, he keeps on playing at this level, and he's going to have a chance. Well, this is the kind of standard that was coming from him about 12 months ago when he started making ranking finals, losing out to Danny Janssen and Danny Noppet and then ultimately Dave Chisnell in Belgium, all before he picked up that UK Open, so the signs were there. Well, six of his top ten Ooh. ever recorded averages came last year, Andrew Gilding, because he was consistently, not just playing well, playing brilliantly. The UK Open victory, hey, while he was boy. an unfancied Andrew contender for the title, he didn't come out of a clear blue sky, he'd been playing the best darts of his life. And he might finish this one with an enormous 160 checkout. He has not missed a double all game and he seals it with a 160. Magnificent from Goldfinger. Winner of this will face either Peter Snakebite Wright, the world number two, or Lee Evans, who was pretty impressive yesterday. That, not that Peter Wright. That's an imposter. It's an Urzat snake bite. It does have his fans. Or that one. No? No. Okay. Steady yourself, mate. It, it's unlikely he's in the crowd. Let's just get this straight. I don't know. Liam Mandel Lawrence is in the crowd a couple of games before <laughs> he played yesterday. That's a fair point, actually. There is a chance. Oh, ah, there he is. Oh, no. It's not that one is more convincing, I grant you. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that that's the Peter Wright off wish. <laughs> 58. Ross well, Ross Smith now 81. wishing for an 81 checkout. Treble 15. Double 18. Good yes, very, very nice. And he's up again. Yeah, more than likely a spot in the Grand Slam of Darts as well, although... Well, actually, Ross Smith won't be there at the moment. He got in last year for being European champion, didn't he? So that won't carry over. Oh, beautiful. 180 number two for Ross Smith. Sixty-five. Russia requires Matching sixty-one. His maximum tally from yesterday. Two in that one, two in this one. Loves this double. Swansea. Can't get near it on this occasion and Jerry suddenly Joe Cullen could find himself two legs clear. It's a big finish, but it's a nice finish. You see the grimace there, he fancied it. 88. Oh. Ross, you require 36. I know averages aren't everything, but Joe Cullen must sense how this game is going. You'll feel like he's running at full pelt just to keep pace with Ross Smith. 18. But he's missed five Joe clear darts 72. at double 18, a double that he leaves very, very regularly. And this is a great opportunity, double six. 4-2, Cullen, despite being 10, 11 it's points behind in the averages. Ross Smith darts, he's using new darts now. He's actually preempted this rule that comes into force next year. He was using a little bit of sort of gnarling on yeah, yeah. his points that could affect the dart board. And he's actually now using completely smooth points, and it's maybe oh, why he was so annoyed that the dart board he was going to play on yesterday had a few little shreds in it. Mm. But he's oh, making his point in this leg, isn't he? What a response to that baffling break. Well, when he's getting it right, oh, Ross Smith is getting it very, very right. He's winning legs six. in 13 darts, 11 darts, and Good. 10 Just darts. Magnificent. He knows how to win games. 65. Using the bullseye to get down to a finish that does not require it. Smith needs a maximum to get to a finish, or at least three big trebles. Well, he's been hitting maximums with regularity in the last few legs, but he's not going to get one here. Yeah, Joe Cullen 85. beat Ross Smith 6 3 once. Every other best of 11 match 6 4 or 6 5 did also meet in the Grand Prix. 
Well, of course, played it. over sex in 2021. It's Cullen, who looks like he's going to be hurtling towards the finish line. 16. Double eight. Yeah. That is Joe line. Cullen's best leg of the match. Already taken the darts in the decider. And he carries on. And on. <laughs> and that one was a little bit off. Well, they're letting him know what they think about it. Oh, Joe Cullen, the wheels have fallen six. off. He's picked up last art trebles in those last couple of visits. But he is powerless to stop Ross Smith from setting this shot up and then getting a look at it. And he will set it up. Nice. Not as well as he would have liked. Even a single 20 would have made it better. Yeah, now on a three data rather than a two. 140. Russia to go on 101. Not seen a check out this size in the game. We could yet see it. Treble 18. Not going to happen. And Joe Cullen, a chance. Could get two match darts, could get none. I was thinking, could he have used that dart, you know? And just gone for a treble 20. Cullen has got a treble 20. And he's got a double 19. And that is a real gritty performance from Joe Cullen to see off a super smith. That probably says more about me than him. <laughs> well, that says a lot about Cami Menzies having seen Asp start this leg with a mat. I don't know about you, but for some reason, I'm getting a really good vibe from Cameron today. And 60. the proximity to that treble 20 today looks really promising. Maybe today will be where he kicks in with these new darts. They do have a slightly more rounded end to the barrel. I don't know if they're a little bit shorter as well. It may be just a, a visual trick. But the grip technology looks fairly similar to what he used before. But strangely, his previous setup was a Chris Dolby dart. And we have 48. That's not that easy. 16. That's why. Even you require 146. He was thinking I would have hit that. Is he going to hit this? Oh, he does. What punishment from Nathan Aspinall. A small mistake by Menzies by a small margin, but Aspinall makes him pay. All of the players' championships that have been played today, nobody's averaging more than Nathan. 98.9 for the season over 17 matches. But he is yet to win one. In fact, his best run in a players' championship in the quarter-final. I mean, you require 98. Well, this is the match-winning shot for Joe Cullen against... Ross Smith. I think that was such good board management from Cameron. As soon as he missed that double 19, he just had a little scan to see where Nathan is. And he said, the last thing I want to do is leave 19. One now I've got three fighting. clean darts. That was really, two. really good. Well, There's a trouble in this area, hasn't he, in the match? And it goes on. 24. You can have the greatest 18. board management in the world, but if you don't execute the plan, you're going to get bitten. But it's now 10 darts missed at double for Cami Menzies. Nathan Aspinall. Nathan Aspinall. That they're able to relax in this game, but there'd be other players who would not appreciate that. 134. Yeah, Cami can't be contained, can he? Just ask Vincent van der Voort no, from the World Championship. Take it for who he is, and you just get on with it. He's not doing... He doesn't do anything out of malice. He just loves being on the stage, he loves to perform, he loves to be part of this. But how much longer is he part of this game? That's the biggest question. Nathan might have his number. Will that miss? Meant that Nathan Aspinall could not finish. Right, here we go again. He hasn't hit this. 
in nine attempts. Yeah, Hooray! Cameron Menzies finally finds the double 16. Now Aspinall steps back here. He knows maybe he's got an opportunity to pounce. Pace of the game's just slowed a little bit as well. He's just trying to dictate what he does. And this is the best way to do it. But it's fee fi fo fun stuff there, isn't it, from Nathan Aspinall. He smelt blood. And like a predator, he took his opportunity. Now just has to do the end bit. Nathan, you require 28. Double seven. The next door neighbour of double 16. And it's found by the Asp. And he banks ranking money here in Munich. The Seeds, remember, have to win their first game to register ranking money. 14 of them up to April and averaging 100. shy of 93. Now, over the last two or three seasons, We've seen him up towards 96 and even 98 91. towards the very top spot in the averages at this point and towards the end of a season. So maybe the 180s are missing. And maybe he's looking to kick in at some point. Well, Beaton's not going to take the 170, so De Salsa will get a look at the 86. 83, does he require 86? We know this one could be facing the top seed Luke Humphreys on his return to Euro Tour action. Bullseye for Jose. 61. Cannot find it. Stevie require 87. 40% on doubles yesterday, Beaton. He's a little bit better at the start here. Steve but he is back in the venue where he became a big stage title winner in senior PDC darts for the first time. Maybe just the tonic for Luke yes. to come back to a place where he's won before. Another good recovery from beating there. So that's 75. 89. Brings it down to a single to double combo. But De Souza could stretch his lead. Well, he could have stretched his lead had he stayed straight. Well, De Sousa has just given us a, an 16. exhibition on how to take out 20 in tops. Steve Beaton can't do the same. And he can't 14. find double 10 either. And this Georgia, is a massive opportunity 14. for the first bit of daylight to open up. Wire, wire, pants on fire. Steve required 20. Another wire. Double five. 15. He's going to be furious. He just doesn't Does show that kind of emotion on stage, but internally he will be writhing, He's especially now. Yeah, we have got a gap open up now. This game is nowhere near the quality that we saw from them in Yena last year. In fact, the averages are a good 16 to 17 less than that. It isn't, but you, you kind of get the feeling it's more important. We've already reeled off some of the things at stake here. Jose's ranking, 99. Steve's chase for the match play. There is a potentially huge jump in ranking money to be made for one of these two tomorrow. But only one of them will have the chance. And it, look, it's going to be tough against Desvan or Humphreys in the next round. We know what these two are capable of. We saw it from Beaton and Keel when he smashed Jose Adrian Lewis. And Jose de Souza, well, he's a man who's averaged 127 before. Tops for 5 2. Yeah, it's there. That is a first 180 for Steve Beaton. 56. Steve is there life in this one? Could be the best leg of the match. 56. This is where you want that 105 plus. Take it into two dart range. Oh, well, he has done so with an aggressive approach. And if Steve doesn't take the 68, it could be game set in the match. Lovely recovery to leave double 12, but he cannot find double 12, and he should be match darts for Jose. Is it one or two? It's two. And he needed them both. Jose de Souza overcomes Steve Beaton. He is three wins out of three against the bronze Adonis.